All right, so this was around 2016, 2017, the Trap era. I cannot lie, when this era started, I was one of those people that was with the old heads of music because at that time, the new artists and the older artists were beefing, the older artists were saying these new rappers are trash, the young artists were saying no, these old people are just upset that, they don't, that they're not as famous or they didn't blow up as quickly as we did and yeah, I was partly on the side of the old timers, I was like nah, how can you, you know, the, this is trap music, it's not really meaningful and shan. But once I started, like recently, I was playing, but I wasn't playing it as back then. But I recently started playing the trap music, and mm, I cannot lie, these trap rappers were cooking. Yes, their music didn't have a lot of, you know, meaningful shan. But at the end of the day, you can't be listening to the music just for the sake of uh, meaningful things. You end up listening to things you don't want to listen just for the sake it's meaningful. Sometimes. All you need is a loud beat, a very good beat, and repetitive lyrics. It's good enough. Because I cannot lie, some of the songs this man made, Lil Pump, Boss, D-Rose, Everybody Wanna Be Like Me, Gucci Gang, Shkere. I think that's another reason why these guys fell off so hard was because they made too many hits early into their career. They made way too many hits. Too many. Because Gucci Gang is about 1 billion views right now. It is shocking. It's so sad that this era came to end, but people, but this era was categorized by really bright hair, like this guy here, Lil Pa. Also, Lil Ski is an honorable mention. His songs also, his songs were really good. His songs were really good, I cannot lie. These guys, ah, especially that one, For Real, For Real, Nowadays, Last, they made some real good songs. Another era, another rapper that I've been recently been listening, 6 9 Takeda 6 9 Yes, I was one of the people that I was like, no, why did he snitch? But guys, 60 years, not even 60, I was facing something about 60 to 40 plus years in prison. Nah, the new Luda, even me too, I'm snitching because he might have snitched, but this man also released. Mm. He also released a lot of hits and he had a habit for always screaming in his music. He'd always just scream. This era was just, mm. I think we hated it way too much. Together 6 9 yeah. And I got surprised when he made a song with Babish Murder. And Bobby Murder's voice even sounded that it was just on the phone. Like, I don't know how they agreed that setup with the prison, but wow. <laughs> yeah, so these guys were in I, another honorable mention I could. Smoke Purp. At this point in time, he was actually really good. And I do like his features with Lil Pump, such as Tesla, Nephew, eh, maybe some other songs of his, but these guys, they were, they were popping at the time. But like I've said, they made way too many hits early into their career. It was difficult for them to follow it up. And most of them have fallen off. But appreciation to these guys. Because, yeah, they might have not made the best meaningful music, but they made good songs. And their producer should be given a lot of credit. Because some of those beats, <clears throat> some of those beats were just wow. Otherwise, appreciation, appreciation era for the trap 